I'm this thing I'm just recording, not streaming, uh, like yesterday and this morning. Uh, but it'll still be available, obviously, on YouTube. Uh, I'm on my alt lint. I'm going to do some questing, I think. Uh, maybe pick up one of the job que uh, crafting quests. Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite views in the game. Uh, this sunset. Like if you stand against it, it's just it's just. Maybe like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of the best places. My best uh, kind, well, my favorite kind of screenshots to take is like up close, a, a cute kitty up close against the setting sun. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the moment going to the. Uh, waking sense to talk to Minfilia. Not entirely sure what she wants from me, but oh well. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. I think I'll just cheat my way there and uh, portal to Horizon. No. Uh, I have these etherite tickets. I'm I'm keeping I'm holding on to them for when I'm. Seven for when I'm sixty, and each travel is going to cost me like nine hundred and ninety-nine. I'd rather waste them then. And guy, again, I started recording something, and and my Facebook Messenger decided to go out of whack. This is ridiculous. Okay, do I need to repair? No, I don't. Okay, then I will take the chicken taxi. Go, Pirate Chipotle Porter, Vesper Bay, let's go. Oh. It's like, you know, this state of constant talent aggro, it's... It's really weird. Um, I try to avoid it as much as possible, but of course, when the only thing that separates you from parental agar is, is just this thin door that's not even locked, uh, sometimes I think I'm gonna give myself a heart attack, to be perfectly honest. a fate but it's going to be over in 40 seconds no one even started it so doesn't matter see I'm riding a cute chicken thingy it's a chocobo I have the same kind of feather on my head I really wish that well I think I think yeah I think I'm close to I'm at level 20, so I should be coming closer closer to uh, to unlocking my own chocobo. And then maybe thingies are going to start getting a little faster, because I already have two mounts. Like this uh, draw chocobo and this uh, Araman, a flying eyeball thingy. Really ugly, by the way. This one kind of looks much better. Uh, either way, oh, Tataro, hello Tataro, Tataro! <laughs> okay, we're going inside the Waking Sands. The like, Waking Sands is located a little bit mm, in a kind of inconvenient place, I guess. There is no etherite there and so you can't just travel there you have to go to horizon and then you have to take a taxi and the first time of course you have to run um i understand the idea of why it is that way but i still don't like it very much yep here we have three uh guys from the three grand companies from the twin serpent Order, yeah, order of the twin adder. This is this dude here. 
then this one is from the uh, Immortal Flames and this dude is from the Maelstrom and three grand companies that represent uh, the Gridania, Olda and Limsa or Minsa and now let's talk to Mencilia Welcome back Mint! Were the grand company leaders words as illuminating as you had hoped? A. Each nation is beset with problems I trust you see now why your services are in such demand. Would that there were more of you, Mint. But you must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take a moment to reflect on your decision? Once your mind is made up, pray give the Grand Company officers your answer. See? No! No word of comfort! No! No advice! Oh my god! Gotta decide everything by myself. <laughs> oh, Manfilia, you're so pretty. So useless. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, cutscene. Oh, Alfin. <sighs> the gods Alfin. only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. As though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these... Le deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Company. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Our grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. I should hope so. M m my lady! We are to escort you! M m m Hope my does lady. not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. And here we've met the two characters that are going to stay with us throughout the entire story, at least as far as I've seen. Uh, Alphino and Alize, they are twins, they are elves, they're quite young, I'm pretty sure, since... And you will see, like, if you play Final Fantasy, or if you're thinking about playing Final Fantasy online, you will see, like, for example, I definitely prefer Alphino. He's very cute, really very cute, uh, but there is a certain ar snobbish arrogance to him that reminds me a little of a better-mannered Draco Malfoy or something, while Alize, mm, well, a lot of my friends in my FC the uh, feral cats of Eorzea, meow. 
A lot of my friends seem to think that Alize is the better is the better of the two twins, but I think they're both quite unique and quite awesome in their own way. Uh, that said, let's see. I think most of us most of us are members of the twin order of the twin of the ma ma maelstrom. I think so. I think I will go with the Immortal Flames this time. Honestly, this this doesn't really um, this doesn't really do much of anything. No. I don't know. Like honestly, my uh, return point at the moment is Limsa Lominsa. And both my uh, classes originate from Limsa, so it would be probably be more convenient for me to join the uh, to join the uh, Maelstrom. But on the other side, on the other hand, uh, let's see, where my else and Ayana. Yeah, Ayana is in the order of the Twin Order, and then. Uh, Mirai is in the Maelstrom, so uh, from that standpoint it would make more sense for me to join the Immortal Flames with this character and see if there is any change to the story. But honestly I think the only difference, the, the, the only thing that it influences is uh, who you end up in PvP with, that's it. And how the barding of your chocobo looks like, maybe. So yeah, now let's go with this one. Okay, now I need to go back to Uldan. Yay. same coloring as my mane at the moment but those those claws oh my god those claws so ugly like there are some oh 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 no that looks good that, that look that looks good although I don't know I really like that hairstyle I really like the hairstyle and uh, that top looks very nice. What the hell is she wearing? This fog. Augmented to oh. Ah, okay, yeah, now I know. Now I know, but I don't think that's the best choice of eye color. Okay, who am I talking to this dude? Okay. What brings you to the Halls of Flames this evening, adventurer? I'm here to enlist if you'll have me. My, min my name is Mint Mistwalker. I believe you're expecting me. Let's go with that. Jeez, everyone wants something from me today. Nope, I'm ignoring everyone until I'm done here. Edge and determine the fate of the airship and its crew. 
Okay, Horizon's Edge. Where the hell is that? Western Thanalan. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think... Well, I can either go out of here and go here or... Yeah, I guess I'll just be lazy. Here we go, Western Thanalan. Sorry, I'm a little bit knackered today. the the weather The weather is definitely not very friendly today. I've been sleepy the entire day. Uh, it's like yawning and yawning, and then some more yawning. It's really quite ridiculous. Ooh, there's a fate there. It's even at zero percent. Okay, let's do this. A oh, oh, okay. You see, I joined the fight, but it's level 10, so, and my level is 25, so I need to click this level sync button. Yeah. Ah, I haven't learned that actually yet. Oh hey, well, sucks to be me. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I'm gonna get much experience from this because I am, as it is, I'm 8 levels over this dude with these guys, so... So the experience I get is not going to be big by it in any way, but every little bit counts out well. Jesus Christ, people, stop poking me, I'm trying to do something here. I'm going, probably going to have to pause uh, or stop this recording after I'm done with this fight. Uh, take a look at who the hell wants what from me. I will remind you that I'll be live on Twitch today, streaming our attempt at hard mode scum and villainy in the evening. And I hope someone will, at, at least someone will come and watch, because otherwise it's really no fun. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you in a bit.